Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Sparkflux. This is going to be our practice exercise number 25 I guess. So we will be making this beautiful uh, 3D model in Fusion 360. So this video will um, focus on developing your beginner skills in Fusion 360. Hope you guys will enjoy the video. Let's get started. Switch to new workspace and click on sketch and on the very front plane let's start by making some sketches here. Press L for line and draw one vertical line press D for dimension and make this as 80 mm in height now draw one line here and press D for dimension and give this a dimension of 19 mm and from this point to this point make this as 27 now press L again and make a line like this and another one like this press D for dimension and make it 3 mm and the angle between these two is going to be 25 and just make it a smaller one like this now draw another line in construction mode like like this and make this line make this point coincident with this one like this now click on line and from this point draw one line like this another one uh, switch off the construction mode and one like this one step like this like this and one like this so we have one two three steps now press D again and make this as 3.5 this is going to be 6.5 this dimension is going to be 14 this is going to be 1.5 this is going to be 54 this is going to be 4 and just increase it like this and D again and from this point to the bottom point make this 80 mm like this so this this line is just for reference now we have a sketch here now again press L again and make one line like this another one like this we will give the dimension in a few minutes So just make these step like I am doing here like this. Now uh, press D again and start by giving this a dimension of 7.5. This is going to be 3. Press again D. This line is going to be 1.5 this again is going to be 1.5 this is going to be 42 this height is going to be 4 and this is going to be 3 this is going to be 5.5 press uh, drag it upwards press D again and this is going to be 2.5 this one as 1.8 this one as 27 this one as 8 mm and this is going to be 16.5 now once done press 3 point arc and make an arc like this and make it tangent relationship between this press D again and give this a radius of 55 like this and make it short like this again 3 point arc from this point to this point and press D again and make it make it a radius of 13 mm and make a tangent relationship between this and this 
now once your sketch is completed just finish the sketch and go to revolve and select this profile and axis would be the center line and instead of 360 devolve what i'm going to do is choose the option symmetric and make it angle of 60 degrees okay something is wrong just select this so we will be uh, making a symmetry i don't know why the symmetry is not working okay now the symmetry is mark working so this is going to be 30 degree and press okay now we have a sketch here <clears throat> now go to major command and from this point major this height 21.749 so construct an offset plane from this point this is uh, just delete this and click here and click on major and from this point to this point the dimension is 21.749 and just make it a minus 1 like this now go to create a sketch click on this plane and create a sketch c for center and draw one horizontal construction line now draw one rectangle like this and make it symmetry with the center plane now press t for dimension and give this a dimension of 16 mm and draw a line from this point to this point and give this a dimension okay give this okay the sketch is i think constrained yeah still it this press l again and from this point to this point make a line and give this dimension as 8 mm like this and finish the sketch now click on extrude and extrude it as a new body and the extent would be object till here okay just delete this uh, the dimension here is going to be i am going to measure it so from this face to this face the dimension is 4.9.5 so just make it negative so that it moves backward and add 3 mm to it so minus 3 like this and press okay now just switch off the first body and press f for fillet and select all the edges and press 8 mm as a radius and press enter like this now go to combine the target body is this and tool body is this the operation would be cut keep the untick the new component press okay press shift and to enables the color so we have a, a beautiful cut here now for the second step again switch back that plane that we have created and press sketch and on that sketch we will be creating another sketch so from line from center of course draw a line like this and offset this uh, this p for project project this and offset this curve outwards up to a distance of 5 mm like this and press a two point rectangle and draw a rectangle like this and make it symmetry with the center line now press d for dimension uh before that first of all let's coincident this point to this point and d for dimension and give this a dimension of 30 mm like this now press c for circle and on this point on this line 
draw a circle of dia 8 and make this tangent to this point okay just undo it delete this for now so just project p, click p for project and project this line and on this line draw a circle of 8 mm and drag it so that it will can be moved across this line and now make this tangent to this one and delete this line and extend this line so that it's make a tangent relationship with this now draw one line from this point and join this point so that we have a close sketch if I just close this sketch you can see the line here now once done press T for trim and trim this point this line this line and this line and this point so did we have a close sketch with us here like this now once done click on this line this point this point and this line and mirror it with the respect of center plane like this and press ok so now we have a close sketch here and you may finish the sketch now bring back the body again extrude it upwards as a new body and distance again I am going to measure it from this surface to this point is 49.5 I am again uh, minus 3 and minus here also so negative negative means there is an addition this is going to be our new body and press ok just bring hide the first body press F for fillet select this edge this edge and this edge and give a radius of 3 mm or 2 make it 3 and press ok now bring back the first body again go to modify go to combine this is going to be our tool body target body and this is going to be a tool body just uncheck the component and just press ok now once done we have another two cuts here now again click on create a sketch and on top of the top plane we will start by making some sketches press L for line and draw one line like this on this line draw a circle of 15 mm diameter and make it tangent with this one now press C again and from center origin draw a circle of 170 mm diameter like this and make a three point arc from this point to this point and like this now make it tangent with this one and make this tangent with this one and press D again and give this a radius of 10 mm so we have a constrained sketch now click on this mirror this with respect to a center line like this so we have a cut a, a complete sketch body so now just finish the sketch and extrude it now select this power profile and ah, okay so we have a problem here so the, I think the sketch is not fully logged okay so just edit the sketch we need to oh yeah this is not touching here so make it coincident with this one and similarly here so we have one uh, uh, now we have scan we this face can be selected finish the sketch select this face this face and this one of course and extrude cut it like this now press F for fillet select this and this space and give a fillet of 2 mm make it 2 mm now repeat the same step for here also now repeat the same step for this point also uh, just select this one drag it and 2 and press enter now we have a, 
uh, this sketch here uh, i think it's not two it's bigger than two so make it two and enter and as for this one also it's not two it's enter so make it two like this and press f again and select this profile and make a radius of 2 here also and press ok now once done press F and select this and make a trade 2mm and enter it was not taking to go for 1.5 or just 1 mm okay something is wrong here I don't know but something is definitely wrong here so just try giving a manual radius here if it's not taking so if I just zoom it out you can see that I can control the radius here and press ok now we have a radius here now what I'm going to do is go to circular pattern, choose body, this and axis is going to be our center axis and the quantity is going to be 6 and press OK. Now go to combine, select all these bodies, select new component and select the operation it's join and just hide the original body and we have a new component here. Now press M for move, select this one and set the origin point at the center and rotate it 180 degrees and press ok so we are done with this exercise hope you guys will enjoy don't forget to share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day